So hi there, my name is Rick Kundi. I'm a solution marketing engineer with the AES division in Keysight Technologies. And today I'm gonna to show you our transmit compliance solution for automotive Ethernet 100 base T1. So the equipment we're using today is a TI DUT. There are other DUTs available. A Keysight automotive Ethernet or general Ethernet uh, test fixture and an S-series scope. And that's connected between the DUT and the test fixture by a MakeNet to Ethernet cable. And then from the breakout board, it's SMA cables directly into the SMA channels of the oscilloscope. So now we've got set up, let's turn on the software and do some compliance testing. I've launched the Broad R Reach test application. This application supports both Broad R Reach and the 100 base T1 standards testing. Initial setup, what I'm going to do is turn off using disturbing signal. So this is only required for test mode 4, but we don't have that connection today, so I will not do that test. Then simply you just step through each tab and select the test that you want to do. In this instance, I just want to do test mode 1 and test mode 5. You're free to select each test mode as you go. Then we configure, so we can configure each test. So for example, here we have the DUT connected to channels one and three, so we don't need to change anything. But if you did, you can select any of the other oscilloscope channels. And same for test mode five. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the averaging just to get a slightly better signal. Then we connect, and this is the beauty of our software that it actually gives you a um, diagram of how to connect. If you require, you can connect your DUT directly to the scope. However, because our DUT does not have SMA outputs, we are using our Ethernet test fixture. As we see here, we've connected everything. We've set our DUT to transmit test mode one. There are example waveforms available as well, if, in case you've never seen them before. So I've completed the instructions and let's run the test. And as you'll see now, the application will take control of the Infinium software preset it to the appropriate settings and then it will take measurements. So it's just a couple of minutes while it steps through and does each measurement. And it's done. So that's test mode one done. Now we want to do test mode five. So it tells us we need to use the same connection and we need to change the DUT to transmit test mode five. So I'll bring up our DUT control software and then we simply file open script, test mode five, test mode five is open. We go back to the application, select we have completed these instructions, and then next to carry on. So now it will step through the test mode five tests and it gives you real time information as to the failure of your tests. Let's let it run. Because we've selected extra averaging, it takes a little while longer. So now all tests have been complete and everything passed. Everything has a green tick. We give you the actual value of the measurement, we also give you the margin. So in the standards, it will ask for specific margins and you can see how close your DUT is to, to actual passing. And then finally, we have the HTML report. So that gives you the oscilloscope, model number and serial number, also the specifications and the compliance limits that we used. And then you just scroll down and it will give you all of the different margins, the values and some helpful screenshots which you can then export and import into your individual test reports. So that was our demo. As you saw, it was very easy to step through the different test modes due to our wizarded step-by-step -step setup. For more information, please visit our website. And thank you very much for watching.